The naming process begins when the horses are yearlings. It takes us about four or five months to name all of them. There's a lot of imagination involved, a lot of administration, a lot of checking, and you have to be totally accurate and um, find suitable names for what you hope are potential champions. I must have named hundreds, if not thousands, over the years. It's something I feel honored to do and to be involved in. The naming process isn't just me, it's a whole team effort. Saib bin Saror, he names all his own two-year-olds. And of course, if there's anything special, the principals themselves will probably change the name and take the name that, that they prefer. A classic example of that is Dubai Millennium. He was named Yazir and he was Sheikh Mohammed's favorite horse. So he named him Dubai Millennium, he won the Dubai World Cup and his legacy carries on through the great side of Bawi. We have a naming competition for all the staff. We use literature, we use all sorts of things to guide us. Sometimes the breeding of the horse will lead you to an obvious name or something that's inspiring. We have African Story, for instance. He's out of Blixen and Karen Blixen wrote out of Africa, hence African story. I think it definitely uh, broadens one's general knowledge, shall we say. I wouldn't call my job a job, actually. It's almost a way of life. I love being out on the heath. I love physical contact with horses. I have got a, an absolute passion for it. It's very, very rewarding. 